Hey everyone, Escoblades here with some more Far Cry 3 gameplay. I'm still playing the single player and in this particular mission I am trying to liberate an outpost. So now you can see in the bottom left hand corner you can see the little flag there. The red flag signifies where an outpost is that you need to liberate and I'd already marked it so I was just heading towards it here. And what you're going to see me do is use the viewfinder to basically initially pick out all of your enemies. Now if you, if you use the camera uh, you can immediately tag your enemies. You don't need to press any button. Just keep them in the view. Um, you can also tag enemies by looking down the scope of your weapon and keeping them in view for a few seconds. That will do that as well. But this is the easiest way and it's something that I'll definitely recommend if you're trying to take out outposts or any sort of like guard encampments. Always scout out first. You can see the little icons designating what particular enemies are what. And you can see that bear there. I'm going to use this bear to create a distraction and actually take out some enemies. You should always be trying to do that if there's um, caged animals within a, an outpost. If you just shoot the cage, like I do so there, it's going to release the animal and they're just going to go eep shit on everybody in, in the outpost. Or at least as many as they can before they die. So the bear's going to do my handiwork here while I just sit back and watch. I'm constantly keeping an eye on the enemies and their reaction to this wild animal. Uh, pick up another guy there and you always want to keep an eye on the snipers first because they have the longest sight lines so those are the people you should be taking out initially uh, when the situation arises so as you're going to see I'm going to pick this guy off there's another sniper over to the left who I think I, I take up uh, I take up after he walks back up you know to the roof so I'm going to take this guy out you want to be aiming for headshots as well because you get a little bit of extra XP uh, for headshots and the main thing about outposts is that you've got to realize that you get more XP if you remain undetected so if no alarms are raised and if no one's able to spot you then you'll get more XP if you complete the whole outpost without being detected you'll gain I think it's the maximum if it's not I think there are a few other constraints to get the maximum amount of XP for an outpost but you definitely want to stay undetected so silenced weapons are really good and of course the silent sniper rifle with a high powered scope is your best friend so at this point now, I'm just going to start taking out. His friend notices that he's dead, but they don't know where I am. They haven't really picked me up yet. And so you can always use, of course, the um, the situational meter, which shows you if you're being detected. As you can see it filling up there. If it fills up completely, then you're detected. And it just tells you if, someone, if you're in line of sight of an enemy and how close you are to being detected and that's pretty much it that's um it's one outpost you can you can tackle them in completely different ways but you'll see you know the outpost uh undetected comes up there and that's an extra 1500 xp so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and uh bye for now